Hey beauties, it's Riri. If you're new here, I'm an over 40 lover of all things beauty and I love showcasing indie brands here on my channel. If that sounds like your cup of tea, please consider subscribing and give the video a thumbs up. If you want to see more and you like what you see, turn on your notification bell so you never miss an upload. Also, if you want to become a channel member for exclusive perks, you can click the join button right down below. Let's dive in. I already have my base up. As I'm talking and letting you know what we're using today, I'll pop up my little video so you can see what my base is. Obsessed, spoiler alert, the Makeup Forever HD, I've been really, really loving. Um, I'm gonna be testing out the Tower 28. It's a mauve mint um, and has two full-size products. It has a full-size lip jelly and a tinted balm. Extremely excited to test this out. I'm also gonna be testing out the Glossier Solar Paint Luminous Bronzer Cream. I'm gonna go in with some highlight from Illamasqua. This is not new, just new to me. I got it from Kate and it is in the shade. I have no idea. We'll, we'll find that out when we get there. And I'm going to be testing this again today. This is the brand new Fenty Beauty Hella Thick Mascara. Wore it yesterday. Pretty obsessed thus far. We're going to dive in. I'm going to go into the Tower 28 Lip Jelly first. I already have one of the lip jellies and I really, really like it. I think we had gotten it in Ipsy or Boxy Charm. Whoa, that was a lot. Holy crap. Okay, maybe wipe the paddle off a little. <laughs> and these have a beautiful, like, very, very high shine finish. They have a really good amount of opacity, too, as you could see. Quite comfortable. Oh, it's so pretty. Mm. And they have a little bit of grip to them. They kind of remind me of the Maybelline Lifter Glosses, which are one of my favorites. Love this shade. Super happy to have this. Next up, this is the Beach Please Office Hours. And with these types of products, I like to go in with a short, stubby, kind of like myself, uh, tight-packed brush. I typically like to kind of go in a little bit and then tap it to the back of my hand just so I'm not getting so much product all at one time. Let's pull our mirror over a little bit. And... I like to keep blush products closer to the apple of my cheek. And I go in with very soft, like I'm barely touching my skin. Very, very soft pressure. And then as I get kind of the bulk of the product, I'm gonna walk it up. Now, if I was testing solely this and not also a new bronzer, I would have started more up in my cheek. That way, if it became too much or was becoming patchy or muddy, then it's up here and when my hair comes down, you don't really see it. Love the color. The texture of this is really, really nice. A lot of these more kind of balmy blushes are really, really sticky. I do feel some tackiness to it, but it's not so much that, you know, it's pulling up product or anything underneath. I actually feel like it's quite blurring as well. Now I'm going to try to go straight in with the brush. Oh, it's so pretty. And I'm sure you could really, really punch this up. Like you can see the opacity difference from here to here. That's a really good rule of thumb too. If you feel like something's gonna be a little bit too pigmented, shear it out on the back of your hand. Oh, I, I love the little bit of glow. We'll see how it sets down. Let me wipe my hand off. So far, both products are wins. <laughs> All right, I have no idea how to use this. So look, we're using it together for the first time. And if it's a shit show, I do apologize. Um, but basically it says solar paint, solar paint, luminous bronzer cream. And it says dot onto face wherever you want a warm sun-kissed sun glow um, and then blend with your fingertips. And the shade is Ray. Uh, looking at this now, I feel like it might be a little too deep. But that's all right because we're heading into spring and summer and y'all know mama gets real tan. I'm going to put a tiny bit right here. <laughs> I'm so scared. I'm going to treat this like I treat my ColourPop Super Shock um, highlighter. Yeah, definitely feeling like it looks a little deep. I'm going to go in with this brush. I'm just hoping I don't pick up too much of it. Oh, okay. That works great. I'm not seeing a ton of luminous quality here. But it is very pretty. I'm definitely getting a cast, so for sure this is too deep for me right now. But I think in the summertime I'm going to absolutely love this. It is a very, very light texture. This doesn't have any stickiness or tackiness to it at all. And I love the warmth to this, especially going into the warmer months when I get, you know, quite tan. 
I think I'm really, really going to love this. So just to note, that way you guys can see the shade of it. I'm actually going to go in with my brush for that I used for my foundation. And anytime you do feel like, like I just feel like everything is getting a little bit kind of deep and almost like one note. So I need to add some dimension, definitely. But I also want to tone things down. I just go in with my foundation brush. You can also go in with a loose powder brush and just take some loose powder and kind of blend the edges. Yeah, I don't. I don't actually see really any luminosity like maybe just a little bit but I feel like my skin was already slightly dewy I think I need to revisit this we'll we'll have to give that just a maybe for now so I am gonna go in with my hula glow bronzer it's one of my all-time favorites but how are you guys are you guys ready for spring break do you celebrate spring break do you still have kiddos in school I also want to talk about Disneyland and Disney World I've never been obviously probably will never go especially now that my kid is grown um, yeah, have you ever been? What was your experience? And in your opinion, was it worth the cost? This is the shade, oh my God. <laughs> and it looks like a beautiful baked formula, kind of like the Amarizi from uh, Anastasia Beverly Hills. I really like how these lay on my skin. I do have dry textured skin and they tend to look really beautiful on the skin as I typically do. After I'm done with all of my products, I will go in with a setting spray and my sponge. Yeah, I really thought I was going to like that way more. The blush I'm really liking, I will say it, it has dried completely down and it does actually look somewhat kind of blurred and mattifying, so I don't mind that, especially heading into summer months. The bronzer though, I thought, I thought I'd get a little bit more. So I'm going to go in. Less is more approach, I think, at first because I'm a little nervous. But I've always wanted to go on a trip like that, a Disney vacation, and obviously I just, I've never had the money to like as a kid or now. Um, but yeah, was it worth the price? Um, how was it? Parking, stay, food, things like that. Um, and then when you pay, is there like an all-inclusive type of thing where that includes food and stuff? Or is it literally like expensive on top of expensive? <laughs> I'm, I'm really curious. Yeah, so, something's happening today. Something... Mm, I don't know. Let me try a different brush. I don't know if it's because I'm using a more matte foundation than I typically go for, um, which could very well be it. But I feel like things are not looking good on my skin today for some reason. Now keep in mind, I do have dry textured skin. I know that I reiterate that, but it is important to note. Yeah, I don't... Uh, I feel like everything is literally kind of melting into its own self as opposed to kind of building shade and light and shadow and, and stuff like that. I don't... I don't know how I'm feeling y'all and I actually have to go out today so I'll get up close and just show you guys it's not horrible but hopefully you guys can see what I'm talking about everything just looks like one one product like one kind of weird blotchy mess I don't know and it could be me and it could be that I'm putting it on top of a more matte formula of foundation and I'm not typically used to that um, I'm literally because I want to test this and have you guys actually see what it looks like not put like a thick ass wing on and then I'm trying to show you what mascara looks like because that's not a review to me. Okay, honey. Um, no primer, no nothing. I'm going to go in with my Natasha Denona Metropolis palette and a big fluffy open brush. I think, I think I just want to do something kind of more neutrally. So I think I'm just going to run this right in the crease. Again, I don't have anything on. I'm kind of aiming honestly for just very soft, very natural, like a wash of color. And I'll do my brows once we get done. I just kind of wanted to sit down and do this before we left and stuff. We have to go, sadly, to the funeral home today to make the arrangements for my husband's father. Um, if you are friends with me on social media or you've seen in my community tab, Brett's father did pass away a couple days ago. Um, I think it hasn't really sunk in yet. Um, I think going today to make arrangements, maybe that time that that happens. Um, I'm not quite sure. And obviously it's not my place to kind of speak to what happened or anything like that. But um, for us, he had been sick for a little while, but it also came as very much of a surprise to us um, and very much of a shock. I'm gonna go into this kind of creamy shadow here and I'm gonna place a tiny, tiny bit of that and bring it through. So Brett will be home in a little while to pick me up and we're gonna go pick up his mama. So if you guys do pray, if you could pray for Brett and his mama, pray for his family or send love and light, I would really, really appreciate it. So, you know, I definitely wanna at least look presentable today, um, but I also have somewhere to be and I have to definitely make sure that I am on time. So that's literally it for the eyes. 
And then I'm gonna go back in with the Fenty Beauty Hella Thick Mascara. Um, I did demo it yesterday, but it was definitely super rushed because I was trying to keep it under one minute. Um, it doesn't like kind of stand up. You can't like open it and stand it here to get back into it. That doesn't bother me. I store my products in a drawer. I will note and did note that it is incredibly black. It is a drier formula, but it's a creamy formula as well. And I really, really love the wand of this. I'm actually gonna curl my lashes because I usually do and I did not yesterday. Um, and it gave a ton of lift and volume. So I'm thinking curling my lashes is going to only amplify that. I did get a little bit of smudging and stuff like that upon application, but that I think was just me. My mirror was way over here. And again, I was trying to fit it into, you know, under three minutes but it wore really really well and surprisingly for as bulletproof and budge proof as it is or as it does claim to be it removed very very easily with just kind of all my standard you know go to's and i will also note that my lashes did not feel crunchy or hard or anything like that like they still feel like hair like they still feel nice and soft and plush um because my allergies are so bad and because possibly we may be crying today i'm not going to put anything on my lower lash line but this is with my lashes just curled. And I'll speed this part through, but do it in real time with you guys so you guys can see. And then we'll get up close and personal. I will show you one eye first. All right, so that's kind of one full on coat. Also, if you ever do make a flub, hopefully that's just me doing this. We're gonna keep testing it. But if you ever make a flub, leave it in place until it fully dries and then you can just flick it off. So, I mean, you can see, I see it, hopefully you see it. There is a drastic difference, especially at the base of the lashes. But I love the fact that this not only lengthens, but it gives a ton of volume, but it also really lifts and kind of curls the lashes. I really enjoy that part of it a whole, whole lot. So let's go in for another coat. Yeah, you can definitely, it gets a little bit messy for sure that I'm noticing now. I don't always mind that as long as everything wears well and it really did wear very, very well yesterday. Like it did not fall down at all. Um, I did also note just in my first impressions yesterday that it can tend to get a little clumpy. Um, it says you can keep layering it, but I feel like two kind of full on coats is more than enough, but I know people like kind of the spidery effect, if you will. And if you do, you're going to definitely love this. So there is two coats. So you can see, I think that's my favorite part of it is just the volume, but also it just really lifts and curls. I really, really like that about it. I'm gonna do this side, let's clean it up, come back and we'll have a little bit of final thoughts. I just wanna ask your opinion about this mascara. What about? Like, how does it look? Does it look clumpy or do you feel like it looks good and opens up my eyes? Do you feel like it's pretty? It looks good. Thanks. I really it like don't it. don't look clumpy. And this is only $19. It looks like you got fake eyelashes Ah, oh, thanks, babe. This is only $19. And my other favorite mascara that I get all the time is $27. And this does what that does. What that does, what that does. All right, beauties, I am back. Um, I actually did have a hard time kind of scraping it off, I guess due to the waterproof nature of it. So I am going to go in and just touch up my eyeshadow really, really quick. And I did not know that this was more of a waterproof formula. If you've been here for a while, you know I don't actually... <gasps> you know I don't actually like waterproof mascaras because I feel like they're so hard to get off and they mess up my lashes. But like I said, this removed beautifully. It also wears incredibly well. So yes, I'm still testing it. Yes, it can be a little bit messy. And I feel like, unlike what they say, you can layer, layer, layer. No, you cannot. I mean, maybe you can, honey. Maybe you can. I cannot. Two layers... Two coats is perfection for me. Um, and this lift, I'll come back later tonight. I'll put in a little clip right, or put in a little clip right here for you guys. Um, but it stays like up. It stays up and in place, girl, like a good bra, honey. It's fantastic. All right, I'm gonna give a final review on the Makeup Forever HD Skin. This is the shade 1N14 or Y245. It's a little light right now. I've already been getting some sun, as y'all can see, but that's okay. I also got like two or three shades up from this, so I can mix and match them for now. I love this. And you guys know I'm not a matte foundation fan, but going into the summer months, because it is hot here and it's incredibly, incredibly muggy here, I have to have something like this 
that way after I start wearing it for a little while I get hot I get a little bit sweaty I'm out in the heat it still stays in place on my skin I think if you prep well you're gonna love it if you have dry skin and if you have oily skin you're gonna I think love it be obsessed with it um, it offers beautiful kind of skin like coverage you can definitely tell that it kind of blurs and mattifies a little bit but not so much in my opinion that it leaves me feeling blank or feeling blank or lifeless. I can still see a couple little like age spots and stuff like that. Overall though, very high medium coverage. I really, really am loving this. It wears beautifully on my skin. I mean like 12, 14 plus hours. Uh, matter of fact, the day that I tested my microphone, hopefully you guys are noticing this, I did a shorts and that makeup that I had on that day was 14 plus hours old. That's how good this stays. Like you could see in that video, a little bit of shininess like here and like maybe down through here, but fantastic. Um, the highlighter, I don't like it so far, but I'm gonna try it over a dewy base and it may be like a shade too deep. So we'll keep playing with it. The texture I typically love and I don't feel like it's emphasizing any texture. I just feel like everything is so one note and everything kind of blended in by itself. So I'm on the fence on that. I'm also on the fence on the glossy A thing. I'm gonna try this with my kind of standard everyday dewy base and see what that looks like. If you've tested this, let me know. The Tower 28 blush, I love. I love that you can make it very soft and I could kiss a whisper of color or you can really, really punch it up. It didn't pick up any product um, and it dried down. It didn't feel sticky or tacky as it dried on the skin. The Tower 28 Lip Jellies, I really like these. If you go in with too much, it can be a little bit gloopy and it's too much, you're gonna have to clean it up a little bit. I think they're stunning. I think they have you know, a beautiful level of like medium opacity to them. The shine is so pretty on them. And for a gloss, they're a lot more long wearing than a lot that I have used. And then the mascara. I was being sneaky asking Brett what he thought, y'all. Look, I am, if you know, you know, I don't wear falsies. I go through so many mascaras. It is my top used, top purchased, and top pan product, period. That and brow products. I love this. Yes, I'm still kind of tweaking it and playing with it a little bit because it can be a little bit messy. Um, other than that, though, you guys, just the way that it wears, I'm telling you when I come back tonight, you'll see. But even yesterday, after four, six, seven, eight hours, I would go into the bathroom and still look and it was still fanned out and it was still voluminous. I pay $27 or $29 for better than sex and have for many, many years. Of course, I've tested out hundreds and hundreds of mascaras since then, but this does what that does for me it is beautiful i love the packaging it feels quite weighted and quite heavy and i don't typically like waterproof or more long wearing budge proof types of formulas it did not smudge or flake other than when i was applying it again could be human error but it removes beautifully and so incredibly well so i i love this i'm of course going to keep testing it but so far y'all I'm really liking it. Um, that is it. I'm going to hop off, do my brows and all that kind of stuff. I will come back later with either a little video or an update or something like that um, and just kind of show you guys. You'll see how the foundation is kind of sunk into the skin. You'll see how the mascara still looks. That is it, beauties. I love you so much. Thank you for being here. Thank you for always being patient with me. Stay happy, healthy, and safe. And of course, be your own best beautiful. Bye beauties. All right, ignore the hair. I haven't styled it or done anything yet. I just want to show you how the finished look with the brows on. I also wanted to note too how saying like your lashes still say soft. I mean, you guys, they're, this mascara is great. It is great. Yes, it has the little bit of tendency to like smear or transfer or whatever, but I don't care. I like it. All right, um, I'll see you later. All right, beauties. Hopefully the sound is okay. It has been six hours and 46 minutes. I don't know what this piece of hair is doing. Um, as you can see with the foundation, I'm starting to get a little bit of just some glow and some dewiness into the skin, which I love, and the mascara. It still looks great. I'm just saying. Um, I really, really like this, definitely. If you can kind of deal with the very couple cons, then I think you'll really like it. Of course, there's no lip product left. Obviously, I've eaten a couple meals by that point, but everything looks great. I really like it. Here's what everything looks like outside. Alright, beauties. I love you. Bye!